All right, now this topic is sure to spark some debate. Reddit users are going absolutely crazy and have swarmed a post whereby a job hunter was asked to be strictly vegan when inside of the workplace he was applying for. So let's go to the Reddit post here. Applied for a job, received this in an email. Can they really force this upon me? or not hire me based on this. So at first glance, this sounds like some authoritarian workplace telling him what he can and cannot eat in his own life. But let's inspect it. It says our workplaces are strictly vegan. You do not have to be vegan away from work, but you do need to bring vegan lunch and have plant milks to eat on site or eat lunch off site. Can you confirm you are fine with this? They're giving him an ultimatum. If you want to eat lunch on site, you bring vegan stuff, you bring uh, plant milks or you can eat lunch off site because they, they have a vegan site there. There's a really important fundamental point to this that the Reddit user did not put in their original post, but instead put in the comment section. This has 11,000 comments from people. <laughs> really sparked a massive debate. So let's read out some of these comments. That's so weird. Some startups really do the best they can not to hire. I wouldn't apply for that job, dude. I would just avoid the company. You know, there's going to be all sorts of ridiculous garbage on top of this. Someone says that's probably not legal. But here is the important fundamental part that the, the poster forgot to mention in the original post. What kind of job? I can see certain situations where this might be reasonable. A dog rescue center. I'm not eating dogs though. So this dog rescue center must be a vegan dog rescue center. And they've said on site, you don't eat other animals. So it seems that this dog rescue center is actually just morally consistent. And they have certain principles at their dog rescue center that if they're rescuing one animal, they don't murder others and put them in between two slices of bread and call it a burger. And I think that is completely justified. Imagine if you're a sanctuary, right? And you're rescuing pigs from slaughter and someone brings in a bacon sandwich to work. Like that would go against the entire values of that workplace. And I think it's completely justified as an employer at that point to say, don't bring in murdered pigs while we're rescuing pigs, don't you? Now someone else has commented here, why not? Try Elwood's. Elwood's dog meat is a hilarious parody of a humane happy farm that actually sell dog meat. I don't know if you know who Elwood's are. Really funny stuff. Really pointing out the hypocrisy and the speciesism in society and people just get so triggered over it. Someone says, I can vouch for their pit bull steaks. So juicy and tender. So <laughs> we've got some people poking a little bit of fun here saying like, well, you wouldn't eat dogs at a dog rescue center. So why is it okay to eat cows, pigs, chickens, fish and dairy products, which murder all these animals, exploit all these animals, violate the rights of all these animals. Completely justifiable as an employer to say, you know what, this is a vegan work site. When I'm doing my, um, say I'm doing some filming, making a documentary or whatever, and I've got a bunch of crew coming in that aren't vegan. I'm not gonna sit there and buy them dairy and meat when we're making a documentary for animals and pay for animals to be murdered on site or have murdered animals on the work site when we're making a film that's supposed to help animals. And that's one of my principles. Like, I don't think that that's unfair. When Morrissey goes and does his uh, concerts, he makes sure that the site that he does the concert at is completely 100% vegan because it goes against his values and he ain't going to perform there if it's not vegan. Like we're not talking about a dietary choice here, even though it does involve diet. We're talking about like rights for animals, animals being chopped up into pieces, like living, feeling, sentient beings being chopped up into pieces and put in between bread, which completely goes against the values of an animal rescue center. So now that we found out it's a dog rescue center, does that make you think a little bit differently about it? Non-vegans watching, vegans watching, vegetarians watching, what do you think about this? Should you be able to bring products of animal exploitation and killing into an animal rescue center? One added, I think you can definitely eat meat and say you care about animals. <laughs> well, you can definitely eat humans and say you care about humans. You care about how they taste. I mean, I don't want my humans tortured before I eat them. So yeah, I do care to a certain extent. I don't care enough not to see them decapitated and put in my sandwich though. I mean, yeah, you can say you care about some animals and eat meat. You could say I care about cats and eat dogs, but you're definitely not morally consistent. You definitely don't care about all sentient animals, do you? If you have that position. I think that this statement, you can eat meat and care about animals is just a species as cop out where you can say, I can care about this certain selection of animals and all the rest of them cut their heads off. I don't care. Or I wanna eat these five specific animals and care about the rest. Like imagine if you had that position with human beings. I care about this race of human beings, but disregard this race of human beings. I care about this gender of human beings, but disregard this gender of human beings. This is just discrimination, isn't it? And we don't accept it in the human context when it's done to us, but when it's done to animals, all of a sudden you can care about animals whilst eating them. 
I don't think so. So in response to the actual question, others explain that employees were well within their rights to demand workers not eat certain foods while on shift. Yes, they cannot hire you over this, one user said. There are specific characteristics they cannot base a hiring decision on, gender, religion, ethical origin, etc. but your dietary choice is not a protected class. If they want to hire you on that basis, they are free to do so. In the UK, actually, you cannot not hire someone because they're vegan. So veganism is a protected philosophical class. Under Article 7 of the Declaration, vegans are equal before the law and entitled without discrimination to equal protection under the law. Here's a Guardian article here. Ethical veganism is a belief protected by law. So this was a man who was sacked by League Against Cruel Sports, told he was entitled to equality protection. So this guy here, what a legend. He was unfairly sacked by the League Against Cruel Sports, an animal welfare charity after he raised concerns with colleagues that its pension fund invested in companies involved in animal testing. Hmm. Imagine if this league against cruel sports has dairy in the fridge or meat in the fridge as well. And they're like protecting like foxes from hunting or whatever. This guy here set a legal precedent. Peter Daly, an employment lawyer for Slater and Gordon said, ethical veganism was a philosophical belief held by a significant portion of the population in the UK and around the world. This was first of a two part employment tribunal. Now the question of ethical veganism has been determined by the judge. The litigation will move on to determine the lawfulness. On the 3rd of January, 2020, it was ruled that ethical veganism is classified under law as a philosophical belief, which is one of the nine protected characteristics Characteristics listed under the Equality Act 2010. So there we go. You can't sack someone because they're vegan or not hire someone because they're vegan because veganism isn't a dietary choice, actually. It's a philosophical characteristic which is protected under the law. But as an employer of an animal rescue, do you think it's justified to tell someone they can't bring murdered animal bodies onto their site? I think that's completely justified. I think it's a completely different standard to say you can't be hired because you're vegan, which is a protected philosophical characteristic. But to say to someone who's a meat eater who just eats meat for dietary reasons, do you think it's completely justified as an employer to say, no, you can't bring chopped up body parts into our workplace? I do. I wouldn't accept it. I didn't even accept it in my house. I didn't even sit at the table with chopped up body parts. So yeah, comment section. Go crazy. What do you think about this? Do you think it's justified for rescue centers not to allow meat on site? How many rescue centers sell meat? Have you seen that before? I've seen a few of them. But leave your comments down below. Even meat eaters, tell me what you think down below. Do you think that this is too far? You can't tell someone not to bring chopped up body parts onto a site that rescues animals? Vegans, let me know your thoughts down below. I'm sure you'll have your own opinions. But there we go. I'll see you in the next video.